What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Boy, am I glad to be back in the chair helping you guys with that gear lusting and that gear acquisition syndrome. It's just, it's amazing. And I'm glad to finally be back. But before we get started, let me go through a couple of announcements that are very, very exciting to both myself and you guys as viewers and to this channel. Um, and first, let's go ahead and just acknowledge the fact that I've been making videos now for over a year. Yeah, so this past July 21st actually marked one year for Justin Porter Media on YouTube. And it's very, very exciting. I think we grew the channel from, I started out at 67 subscribers. And I think at, at that date, according to uh, TubeBuddy, the app that I use to kind of monitor everything, around that time I was right at around 1,700 subscribers. So I really, really appreciate every single one of you for sharing, liking, commenting, engaging with my content. It's definitely the reason why I do it. And I couldn't thank you guys enough. That being said, as of August 1st, I have actually gone full time with Justin Porter Media. I'm very, very excited because this is a true dream and passion of mine. And I, I couldn't be any more grateful and thankful for the opportunity to be able to make what I love to do a career. And the only thing that I can say for anybody that's out there right now, that's even thinking about it, that's at that point where they are tossing back and forth the idea, should they quit their job? Should they continue pursuing with their film and production? I will honestly say, you'll know when the right time is there because it will prevail itself. So there's no need to rush. There's no need to compare yourself to other content creators who are doing it. You will know in your heart when the right moment is and you will make that change and you will love it. That being said, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. And that is talking about the Rode Wireless Go. Now, first and foremost, this thing is incredibly small. So we take the transmitter and compare that to something like a little adapter here I mean, you can see like the size of this thing is, is crazy. Let's compare that to its bigger brother, the Filmmaker Road Link system. Now look at that, that is just crazy. Imagine going through a run and gun situation and clipping this with the cable, running the lapel through the shirt, clipping it somewhere so it looks good versus just taking this little thing by itself, taking it, putting it on your talent, boom, and you're done. Now, there are some things that I do like and dislike about this setup versus the other setup. One is that the microphone is built in. And I love that because you don't need cables, you don't actually have to have something. And for what is worth, the microphone that's built into this thing is actually pretty good. But what I don't like is once you actually clip it onto your talent, I hate the fact that they have their logo, their name, kind of branded on this. So it's almost as if, if you're close enough to the subject when you're filming, that's gonna let people know that's watching it like, hey, that must be a microphone. That's something that he has clipped there. Now, even if it wasn't you know, their name or something on there, you would still know that it's something. But I feel like having the name there is a bit distracting. And in my opinion, it's, it's slightly tacky. I feel like that shouldn't be there. It should just be a nice matte black like it is with no logo. However, it is still extremely versatile to be able to take this, clip it on from one person to the next. You're pretty much good to go. So in the box, you get the transmitter, the receiver, the auxiliary cable for connecting it to your camera, which speaking of that, anybody that's shooting with any type of cinema uh, camera or something like that, all you need to do is pick up like a little adapter. I got this for like 12 bucks on Amazon where you plug the three and a half millimeter into one side and it converts it to the XLR on the other side. So then you can just plug that directly into your mic input on your camera or if you have the adapter for your Atomos recorders or anything like that, basically. Aside of that, you also get a nice pouch and a wind, whoa, whoa, little wind guard that goes over the top, which in my own opinion, this goes back to the design. I like it, but I mean, if this thing is clipped onto you, this is, this is pretty ugly. Like, let's just be honest. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's pretty ugly. In my own opinion, I mean, I've used it every time without it, and I tried my hardest to not use it. Buying this, my main reason was to get that lowest profile recording of audio that I could get. And so getting something like this with the mic built into it, clipping this on, that's about the best you can get. It's just having something just super small like this without plugging any cables, without having some fat dead cat or wind guard. It's just, to me, I feel like this This is tacky. This is, this is not the best that I've saw. You know what I don't like? I don't like being lied to. Half of y'all said y'all subscribed to the channel and you didn't. That breaks my heart because I don't understand why. 
You also get a nice pouch that goes with it so you can put everything in it and carry it around as you wish. So I've taken this thing and I've actually used it at a couple different weddings um, and I did some guest interviews and I can play a couple of those clips for you guys to hear. But the overall sound quality to me is about a seven and a half to eight. I feel like the Rode Filmmaker Kit is definitely gonna get you that better, more rich sound. And I guess it always depends on what it is you're recording. If you're doing something that's run and gun, that, you know, is, that doesn't have the requirement or the demand of being like extremely high quality audio, you can definitely get by with the Rode Wireless Go. It is not bad at all in any means. It actually sounds quite impressive. Um, in fact, let me go ahead and just play a couple sample clips from just random recordings that I use this bad boy with right now. Roll it. Love you guys. Congratulations. Thank you for letting me be a part of y'all's day. And I wish y'all the best. Love you guys. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Boy, am I glad to finally, finally be back in the saddle. Um, yeah, today we're talking about this little guy, the Rode Wireless Go. The Harry Potter game, I did, I finished the second one because I, I, I beat the bad guy. I love y'all so much, and thank you so much for letting me plan y'all's wedding. It means the world to me. Shout out to Sam for flying out from Vegas, too. Once upon a time, there's a dad and a dog and a kid. So like I was saying, it's not bad, but you know, it sounds great. I just, in my own personal opinion, after using the Rode Filmmaker Kit for so long, I do notice that with the Rode Wireless Go is that it's very, very, I guess the high end, the high frequency is very high on this. There's not a lot of uh, bass pickup or low end pickup. This is this is really right here. This is how you get ready to film a good YouTube video. You take a shot of cruise control. All right. Go, go, good. Peel it. Boom. Laser focus. All right, all right. So laser focus. Cheers it. Straight to the head. Straight to the head. And to me, I like that. I like having that rich, full, low end pickup in my recordings. It sounds full. It sounds very, very, you know, rich. I like that. Um, I said that already. I said that I like it. You guys know that I like it. Aside that, they still give you the option to plug in an optional lapel microphone, which again, the whole purpose that I bought this, the reason why I wanted this set was to go as low profile as possible. So I won't be doing any tests or comparisons with this compared to the Rode Filmmaker Kit because truthfully, in all honesty, I feel like this is designed to be used with the built-in microphone. And that's the way you should go about looking at it when you're wanting to make this as a purchase. So besides the fact that this thing is extremely tiny, the price is just, is perfect. At $199, you're getting a really good wireless setup that sounds incredible, especially with the fact that it has a built-in wireless microphone. That by itself is single-handedly a game changer. You can put this thing in places where you can't put your lapel microphone. Uh, it's small enough to be clipped in different areas for on your talent or in the environment to be able to pick up different sound patterns and things like that. It's just extremely, extremely versatile. And that's, again, another reason why I decided to pick this up. There's no words that can express how much I love these two. I wish I could tell y'all, but I really can't. I depend on them as much as they depend on me. If you have a wireless setup, is this worth reinvesting in? That question honestly depends on what it is you're filming. If you're doing a lot of things where you don't have a lot of control of your sound areas or it's a lot of run and gun, fast paced, maybe events or weddings and things like that, I definitely think this would come in handy because the mic is included. You don't have to worry about any cables, anything getting you know tangled up and trying to get them untangled before you mic someone. But on the flip side of things, if you're doing things more corporate, more professional, and you need a higher quality audio, in my own opinion, you get a better sound and a better a better overall quality with the Rode Filmmaker kit. All right, this is it. I'm going back. One shot. Whew. Ready. I'm waiting for this day for 364 days. For the most part, this is great. This is a step better in my own opinion. And yeah, that's that. I mean, the Rode Wireless Go. What more can you say? You've got tiny microphones. They go pretty much anywhere get creative. But that's it. That's all I got for today, guys. I really appreciate you rocking with me. Again, we are close to 2,000 subscribers on the channel, and I've got an idea for what I want to do for a giveaway, but drop some comments down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking, and maybe, maybe, maybe I'll make it happen. We never know. I appreciate you guys for watching. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace!